hello astronaut class one of my favorite stories to share with you today it is by one of our favorite authors mud puddle by robert munch this is a funny funny story about a little girl named julianne julianne's mother bought her a clean new shirt julianne put on her shirt and buttoned it up the front she put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she walked outside and sat down under the apple tree. Unfortunately, hiding up in the apple tree, there was a mud puddle. It saw Julianne sitting there and it jumped right on her head. She got completely all over muddy. Even her ears were full of mud. Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub full of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She even washed out her mouth. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she looked out the back door. She couldn't see a mud puddle anywhere, so she walked outside and sat down in her sandbox. The sandbox was next to the house, and hiding up on top of the house, there was a mud puddle. Julian, it saw Julianne sitting down there, and it jumped right on her head. She got completely all over muddy. Even her nose was full of mud. Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Julianne's mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub full of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She washed out her mouth. She even washed out her nose. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she had an idea. She reached way back in her closet and got a big yellow raincoat. She put it on and walked outside. There was no mud puddle anywhere. So she yelled, hey, mud puddle. Nothing happened. So she yelled again, even louder, hey, mud puddle. Julianne was standing in the sunshine in her raincoat, getting very hot. She pulled back her hood. Nothing happened. She took off her raincoat. As soon as she took off her coat, out from behind the doghouse, there came the mud puddle. It ran across the grass and jumped right on Julianne's head. She got completely all over muddy. So Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up, took off all her clothes and dropped her into a tub full of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She washed out her mouth. She washed out her nose. And she even washed out her belly button. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she sat beside the back door because she was too afraid to go outside. But then she had an idea. She reached up to the sink and she took a bar of smelly yellow soap. She gave it a smell. Yuck. She reached up and took another bar of smelly, smelly yellow soap. Yuck. She put the smelly yellow soap in her pockets and she ran out to the middle of the backyard and she yelled, hey, mud puddle. Well, the mud puddle jumped over the fence and ran right toward her. Julianne threw a bar of soap right into the mud puddle's middle. The mud puddle stopped. Julianne threw the other bar of soap right into the mud puddle and the mud puddle went, ah, oh, yuck, ew. It ran across the grass, jumped over the fence, 
and never came back. That is a happy ending for Julie Ann. You know what, this book always reminds me how much fun it is to play in the bathtub or to play in water. I know my boys have always loved playing in the bathtub. I know at school we always love filling up the sensory table with water and playing in water that way. So I wanted to suggest that for today. Most kids take their baths at nighttime, but there's no reason why you can't fill up the bathtub right in the middle of the day and just have some fun in there. Or you can bring a water table from outside into the kitchen or do like I did and put one of these handy dandy little plastic storage tubs full of water on a towel on the kitchen floor just like so. Um, add a little bit of food coloring to the water makes it much more fun. Some great fun things to add to your water table. Start by looking in the kitchen. A strainer, a slotted spoon is great for picking up stuff out of the water. A whisk is cool if you want to add some baby shampoo or a bubble bath to it. Whisk it up and make some great big bubbles. Just very simple cups are super fun for filling up. You can, if you have, uh, if you use up a container of soap with a pump on it, those are really fun for squirting into the water. Get out your swimming pool toys or even this might be one of my favorites did you know that little plastic magnetic letters that you put on the refrigerator float and then you can scoop them up and catch your letters and practice your letters too while you're playing in the water have some fun today take care guys i'll see you soon